this afternoon trying to get my walk in, trying to get some exercise. That's why this video is um, titled Workplace Wellness. I'm actually still an employee. I'm a social worker. Um, I do have a part-time business as well. I talk about that in a different video, but um, I'm a social worker, full-time social worker, working with our seniors and um, older population. And, of course, like I said, I'm out here walking. Took half my lunch break to come out here and walk and try to get my exercise in. Like I said, I just want to encourage those people who are out there working like I am as well, not just social workers, but teachers, um, therapists, counselors, doctors, whoever you are. We all help somebody no matter what kind of job we do. Tax accountant, you help people too. But we have to get up out of our chairs, get up out of our desk and actually go get some exercise, y'all, and take care of ourselves. Otherwise, we're succe more susceptible to, of course, to having heart attacks, having strokes, being um, having a mental breakdown, being too stressed, can't sleep, all this kind of stuff. Creates a lot of issues, y'all. So therefore, we have to take care of ourselves. Yes, I can encourage the jobs to, of course, intentionally say, are you taking your breaks or doing these kind of things? But you're a full grown adult. You can do that stuff yourself. And I said our job should not ask us that, or our boss or whoever should ask us that. And I said our job should not ask us that, or our boss or whoever should ask us that. They should, but we know full and well that we should be taking our own breaks as well. We know what our health is like. We know that we sit here and eat doing lunch, stay at our desk, try, still trying to work. We know that about ourselves already. And so it's up to us to do something about it, not them. You're the one that has to suffer the consequences when you have a stroke or have a heart attack at your desk or something else is going on. You're the one that got to suffer those consequences. The only consequences the job going to have is to find somebody else to, I guess, to, to find somebody else to replace you. That's all they're going to be doing. But you got to get up and take care of yourself, y'all. I can't tell you how many jobs I've been in. Seeing my coworkers, like I said, just eating, doing lunch. Sitting at their desk, still trying to work. I ain't done yet and all this kind of stuff. What are you not done with? You have all this time in the day to get things done, I'm sure. Some jobs, of course, you, you, you get the job done within about an hour or two and be done for the rest of the day. And just look busy. I guess I put it that way. Most jobs, actually. But at some point, like I said, we have to get smarter, y'all. Can't tell you how many times that I've... And I've done this to myself as well. Not even taking my own vacation. Time off. Have four or five weeks of vacation. Ain't took a vacation in years. Just a day or two here or there. I don't do that anymore, but I used to do it all the time. Making excuses, oh, nobody can do my job. Or, I don't want to give my coworkers all this work. I have to do all this kind of stuff. That's what they're there for. If they had to take a vacation and want to take a vacation, they'll, they'll do the same thing to you as well. So utilize your coworkers. If you take it for, I guess if you need to divvy out your responsibilities while you're going for a vacation, don't just stack up the time. Yes, it's good to have at least a week stacked. Yes, have that. Because anything can happen. But otherwise, by you not taking your own vacation, you are keeping yourself stressed. Vacations help us relax. Helps us de-stress. And it helps us enjoy something different in a place that's different. So why wouldn't you want to take a vacation? To utilize your, your time off from your job that, that they're giving you for the hard work that you're doing. Treat yourself. You have to at some point, y'all. Because I know, like, like I said, jobs, yes, jobs are a dime a dozen. They come and they go. And we come and go at their jobs as well as their employees. But if you're not utilizing your time and actually taking your 15 minute breaks and your lunch break and actually doing something with it instead of just sitting at your desk and working through it. You're going to cause yourself to have some health issues that you don't even want. 
I burn out. One of the two or three. So make sure y'all utilizing the time. Try not to get hit, so I'm trying to see. But like I said, that's why I'm out here walking myself. Trying to get my own exercise. Like I said, using half my lunch break to, of course, like I said, to take care of myself. What the hell is this lady doing? She can't drive on. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> people, people, people. All right now. <laughs> but like I said, definitely take care of yourself, y'all. Like I said, the workplace is no joke. We all know how much stress comes out of the workplace. We all know, especially when you saw it during COVID, how jobs treat you when, when they need to get something done, they care less about your health, but you have to care about yourself first. We saw a whole lot of folks leaving during the great resignation. Some return and that kind of thing, or some working from home, or got their own side hustle like I do. That's all fine and dandy, but you still gotta take care of yourself. I don't care if you own your own business. Still get up out your desk, Go do something different. Take a lunch break. It's all one and the same. I don't care if it's your business or workplace. Up and take your break. There's no reason why you can't. Who's going to take care of you and your family if you should stroke out tomorrow? Or if you have a heart attack tomorrow? Or if you have a mental breakdown because you're too stressed tomorrow? Who's going to help you, help you take care of your family or your job isn't? Yes, while you may have a paycheck that's coming in the next week or two, that may help. But after that, then what? You have to figure out what you're going to do. You have to take care of yourself. I talk about the savings and all that kind of stuff in different video, but we have to take care of ourselves, y'all. Especially, you're looking at me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a woman of color, I'm a, I'm a black woman. Diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity heart disease all that stuff runs runs in our not just black people but a, a lot of races of course across, i'm sure probably all of them across this earth bloodline and if you're just eating crazy eating chips on your break and doing all this stuff and oh, i'm not gonna take my lunch today i'm just gonna snack snack a snack at some point you're going to create some health issues for yourself that, that you don't even need that's why it's important for us to take care of ourselves y'all not just me out here walking and that kind of thing, doing all the exercise. That's fine and dandy too. But you still have to eat right as well or eat as best as you can. Even if it's raw fruit, vegetables, salad every day. Something. Or as your snacks instead of chips. Do that then. Like I said, we can't just keep doing all these things and expect our health and our, our world to be okay, y'all. At some point, it will catch up with us. Like I said, there's no reason why you, we, me, you, whoever else is listening to this, cannot get up and take our breaks, cannot start eating healthier. In the workplace, I can't tell you how many times, like I said, I've, I've been in a workplace where I've had employees pass away. I've been in the workplace where I've had employees, my coworkers, burning out, mental breakdown. I've had coworkers who've had aneurysms, probably not at their desk, but of course over the weekend before they came back to work because of all the stress and everything else that they're going through. It ain't just the work stress that you need to get up and do these things, to, I guess take these breaks for. It's not just the work stress. We all have stress at home too. We all have families. We all have, not all, a lot of us have kids, partners, husbands, wives, other family, other friends we're taking care of, probably older parents that we're taking care of as well. These breaks are for us to, of course, like I said, to regroup so that we can take care of ourselves and then our loved ones and our families and all those types of things and our jobs and all that kind of stuff afterwards. But it comes with ourselves. It starts with ourselves first, y'all. It always starts with ourselves. If you're not whole, what is that? Lord, it's a black cat back. I'm sorry, y'all. It's a black cat back here walking across the top of this. Let me see if I get to get a video. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I think that's all oh, just jumped down. Oh, well. It was a cat walking across that, like the top of this little brick building. <laughs> Lord, that's the first time I've ever seen that. But like I said, definitely you have to take care of yourself in order, in order to take care of anybody else. Yourself always comes first, y'all. Yourself always comes first. You have to be healthy and whole in order to create a healthy and whole life. Like um, 
household for, for other folks, your family, your kids, all those types of things. But you, like I said, it all starts with you. I know it all starts with me as well. That's why I'm out here walking every, every lunch break. I eat 30 minutes, of my, well, the first 30 minutes of my lunch, the last 30 minutes I'm out here taking a walk. Up in that, well, as long as it's not too hot, because we're in southern Arizona, it gets like in the 120s and all that kind of stuff. But as long as the weather's good, today is like close to like 70 today. It feels good out here today. So, of course, yes, I'm out here walking. Even when it was in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, I was bundled up outside walking, too. Just trying to make sure I'm taking care of my health and I'm actually moving my blood around my body, y'all. I don't care about the calories. I can care less about those calories. My main thing is to de-stress. To make sure that I'm feeling good. We all, well, you may not know, but when you exercise, even if it's walking or lifting the weights or doing some kind of cardio, it helps you relax. It lessens your level of depression. It lessens your anxiety. It's a mental health thing to all these kind of things, y'all. It gives you better mental health and better mental wellness. That's why I walk every, at least every day that I'm at work. If I have, like I say, half my lunch break. I have to. I know I can't force you to do anything, but I just hope that you would take this tidbit and, of course, just run with it. And if you're out there suffering from an illness, I have illnesses too. Working my way out of them, but like I said, I'm, I have illnesses too, and I'm sure, like I said, the, that the walking is very, very good for. When it comes to blood pressure, lowering your numbers, all those types of things, it's very, very good for that. Diabetes, the cholesterol, all that kind of stuff. Exercise is definitely good for that, y'all. It ain't just the, yes, it is the stress from work and that kind of thing to decrease that, but it also helps you be heart healthy too, y'all, and to maintain a good sense of your own health. So like I said, get out there and move, y'all, especially like I said, if you're, work, you, if you're working, you're just sitting at the office, don't want to take your breaks, don't want to leave the office and want to work doing all your breaks and all this kind of stuff, get out there and move, y'all. Get out there and move, y'all. I'm a social worker, like I said, this goes out to all those people who are in any, any kind of helping profession, whether it's teaching, whether it's psychology, whether it's counseling, whether it's a doctor, no matter what it is, most jobs help somebody else in some type of capacity. So that means all y'all. So get out there and move and get out there and work and get out there and, like I said, try to de-stress y'all before you kill yourself. Peace out, y'all. Have a good one.